Hi everyone, my name is Gareth Moody. I am part of the Enterprise Solutions product team at S&P Capital IQ, where we continually look to serve our clients with high quality data feed solutions across markets. Using the topic of Crimea, which remains hot on the minds of investors around the globe, I would like to show you a metric called quote count that we capture and publish as part of our CDS data sets. The quote count is excellently named since it is a count of the quotes that we see on a given CDS contract on a particular day. If we go to our example now, the slide on your screen shows the time series of data on the five-year Russia contract over the period from the 26th of February to the 4th of March. It is interesting to observe that as tensions in the region escalated, the rate on the contract did not move appreciably, remaining in the range of roughly 185 to 205 basis points. On Friday the 28th, however, the market was approximately half as active compared to the previous days. Then, following the February month end and the weekend, spreads gapped dramatically wider on almost double the usual quote volume and remained elevated. So although rates did not initially move significantly in the marketplace in response to the situation in Crimea, the dropping of activity in the marketplace was perhaps a precursor for things to get busy in the new month and potentially the ensuing credit widening. How does S&P Capital IQ capture the level of activity in the market? Quote count is the critical measure by which we are able to understand activity levels. Our streaming data users can generate the quote count themselves, but for clients who like to take daily or hourly files, we publish the number of quotes we have observed against each CDS contract. Our metric provides an insight into the level of pre-trade quote activity we are observing through our consortium. Since the CDS pre-trade markets are made essentially through email messages, as an aggregator of all of these prices, our data feed is uniquely positioned to capture the posture of the market when news hits.